I'm Chase, and I'm back. And this week, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of using a jig on your robot. Every week, we're going to be starting an engineering term of the week. And last week, we did dead reckoning, and this week, I'm going to talk about autonomous mode. Autonomous is when your robot goes on its own and runs on its own. And so, you program the whole thing on the computer, and then it runs and you don't use the remote control. And so, when you run it, if you don't line it up quite right every single time on the field, it won't run properly because it won't finish all the missions. And so, what you want to do is you want to use a jig. A jig is something you build to be able to help you line up your robot quickly and the same every time. So this is a jig I built a couple years ago, and it's what I am going to use to show you. Your jig should look a lot different because this robot won't work on a jig. But this one will, and this is the robot that I built this jig for. So in base, where you're allowed to touch a robot on the field, is you are able to have a corner and you can set your jig up in it. And this one I just slide into the corner, and then I take the robot and I slide it up to the wall and the corner. And then it's ready to go. That's all I had to do. Now if I was using Dead Reckoning instead of a jig, this robot would have to, I would have to line this robot up by hand and sight. And now the tables at competition won't be your own at home. So they could be different. The robot, the uh, the walls could even be chipped or scraped. They might not be quite the right size or the right angles or anything. And while they should be, you you don't want to have to rely on that. What you want to do is you want to build a jig and do that yourself. Now, if you ran the maze from last video, you should know that it didn't. Your robot probably didn't go the right way every single time, and that's because of not using a jig. So. Using the jig, if you build a jig, you can even chart it out which one is better. Which one do you think is better? You can try running it with dead reckoning 20 times or 30 times, and then try it again and use the jig this time, and see which one ran and completed its tasks more accurately every single time. You figure it out. Well, thank you, and have a nice day.